Hello and welcome back to the Tibby Show. Just want to thank you guys very much for all of your suggestions, some of your uh, ideas to improve the strategies for the last videos. I really enjoy reading them. Thank you so much. So today's guide, we're going to be getting the achievement Yugoslavia. Basically what it is, is as Yugoslavia, occupy all your neighboring countries. So it's going to be Austria, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, Italy, and Greece. Uh, it sounds like a lot and I'm going to be honest with you, it's easy. With this guide, I'll show you the easiest way to get it. This is probably some of the most fun that I've had in a long time. Uh, Yugoslavia is incredibly powerful and it's set up really, really well. Uh, I hope you have as much fun as I did when playing this and I hope you get the achievement. We will of course be doing new game, January 1st, 1936 start date. We will be playing as Yugoslavia. Uh, you might be wondering when my map looks a little different. I am running one mod currently. Uh, it is an Iron Man compatible mod. It is called the FPS map mod. Uh, and it just makes things look a little different. We are in Iron Man mode, of course. We're going to be doing regular difficulty and historical focuses for the AI, of course. So as Yugoslavia, we have actually very bad national spirits, starting with the Croatian opposition, which gives us negative 30% stability. Uh, we have Macedonian opposition, which makes our political advisors, our economy laws, our trade laws, and conscription laws to be more expensive. We have Slovene nationalism, that gives a negative 10% production efficiency growth. Serbian general staff, which makes our military leaders expensive. It gives us some uh, max planning bonuses, so that's good. And then we have anti-German military. If you were to join the Germans while you have this national spirit, you'll have a civil war. Research isn't very important in this game, so I'm not going to be showing you. And just from the get-go, we're going to be building military factories. Uh, these military factories are just going to be built in Serbia as well as Morova. And we're going to be having three of our, our uh, three military factories, uh, one on infantry equipment, one on support equipment, and one on towed artillery. We'll also be making some uh, convoys as well. For our focus, we're going to go down uh, Western Focus. And after doing Western Focus, we will not be doing any other focus. And with our first 187 political power, we're going to get this communist revolutionary. And let's delete our entire army. Let's build a spy agency. Let's commandeer some uh, civilian trains. We're going to prepare for a civil war and ignite that civil war as soon as we can. Okay, very first thing we're going to do is we're going to train up a bunch of these cavalry units that we have. And as soon as they get to 20%, we're going to be putting each one next to a various city so that we can quickly capitulate and end the civil war. And once they have org, just rush those victory points. And we have Tito, the man who held Yugoslavia together. Very nice, civil war is over. And we're going to be putting our spy onto Hungary. So the reason we're putting a spy onto Hungary is we're going to boost our ideology because Hungary has a focus where they get a national spirit that boosts Brown Party support uh, for 720 days and they get a base change of 5% in order to continue down their focus tree and join the Axis. They have to have more than 40% for said Brown Party. If we can prevent them from getting 40%, they will never join the Axis and that's just a country that we can conquer without having to go, with, go to war with the world. more military factories of course and let's train up a bunch of units as many as we can with the manpower that we have available also we're going to justify on Bulgaria and we're going to do reinforce old alliances Now that that focus is done, we're going to attract allied capital. This is going to give us a uh, national spirit, foreign capital, which gives us negative five consumer goods factories, which is pretty good. And now we're going to do limited self-government. This is going to remove uh, Slovene nationalism, but it's going to release the Republic of Slovenia as a puppet, and it's going to create two Slovenian uh, militia units. We are going to be tearing our country apart. 
Okay, at this point you have two options. One, you can do an autonomous Croatia, which creates a single puppet, a single Croatian puppet. Uh, this is going to give you more units, but I'm going to argue against that. I think you should do Devolve Croatia. You should try to get as many puppets as you can because they have their own individual focus tree. These focus trees aren't unique. They are base default focus tree, uh, which is pretty powerful. So by the time you do annex all of your puppets, you're going to be getting a lot of extra free factors. So I highly suggest you get as many puppets as you can. And as these puppets are created via your focus tree, we're going to be taking all of their divisions. Uh, half of our army is going to be made up of just of these uh, puppet divisions. This is how we're going to conquer all of the Balkans. And there we go, two more puppets. We will be taking all of their men, thank you very much. Uh, we will not be doing any other focus. We're just going to be sitting here gaining more uh, political power. Ugh. Our agent has been captured, but our war goal is ready. We'll be switching over to war economy. And let's go to war. The war with Bulgaria is very easy. Uh, just rush their victory points. Your units are better than theirs, and you have more of them. And the Brigadistas has bypassed, that's fine, it just was a focus for sending volunteers for the uh, Spanish Civil War. Keep pushing, it is very easy, just encircle their units, rush those victory points in the war as fast as you can. And now that we have enough of this political power, let's justify a war goal on Albania. They are our next target. <laughs> Bulgaria just die already. And there we go, we have capitulated them. We are going to be doing something kind of weird. I know I usually every game I say don't puppet Bulgaria, don't puppet Bulgaria, but we're going to be puppeting Bulgaria. Uh, the reason for this is there is some spaghetti code. Uh, so when we annex all of our puppets that we have created through the Yugoslavian focus tree, for some reason it allows us to annex Bulgaria and Hungary as well and gain them as cores. So we will be doing that. And we're going to be putting our units on the border. All of our puppet troops will be on the main border with uh, Italy, right up here in Slovenia. While our own uh, Serbian troops, I guess, will be on the border with uh, Zara. We are going to be using this as a little port of encirclement. Okay, Bosnia has been divided. And now let's dissolve Serbia. Request all of their troops. And we're going to be creating Slavic Transylvania. And same thing, claim their troops. More men is always good. So this should happen to you in all of your games as long as you do exactly what I did. The United Kingdom will guarantee you, and as long as you don't join any faction, that guarantee will stick. It's very handy. And we're going to start on our industry focuses. Let's get some improved work conditions. We need some uh, stability. And let's get this portrait of Mark so we can get some manpower up in here. Okay, justification is over. And declare war. They will call in Italy. Okay. Just call in some of your puppets. We're going to be very strategic about this. First one we're going to call in is going to be Macedonia. Next puppet we're going to be calling in is going to be Dalmatia. And let's quickly beat this uh, Albania. One troop pins, the other two run towards uh, the victory points. And there we go. That is one Italian division destroyed. It's very quickly rushed. We're going to take as much of it, the uh, Northern Italy as we can. The Italians right now have no idea what's going on. They, have, they don't have any of their troops at the border. This is going to be very easy for us. The Italians have rushed some troops up, but that's fine. They have almost no org. It's gonna be easy. And let's expand the mining industry. 
so this is for some reason my puppet's land. Uh, it did not flip over to me. I wonder if that's going to mess with the Civil War, with the uh, Italian Civil War. They will not give me the land, that is unfortunate. And another Italian division destroyed. I'm actually going to be canceling that focus and I'm going to move over to uh, a United Kingdom. This is going to be the start of our uh, path to annexing all of our puppets. And there we go, we have taken Albania. Uh, I puppeted it, but I'm gonna tell you now that was a mistake. Just annex it, don't puppet it because that is a mistake, just annex. I repeat, just annex annex since we've taken quite a few uh, italian cores they should start getting a lot of losses to their stability and the mussolini should be dead Okay, the Italian lines are starting to solidify. And I think we got another encirclement. Ooh, three divisions. Thank you, Italy. And I'm going to be putting my spies now into uh, Italy. They have remained in Hungary for long enough. Uh, they should not flip to uh, Brown Party, so I can take them up and they won't join the Axis. Let's get a uh, spy network on Italy. Make it a little easier to push. Can I make this encirclement? Of course, build more uh, military factories in those two states. And another division. Another division. Another division. Italy, you gotta stop they just keep sending them and the best part is they usually send them from the uh, front line so this disrupts the front line by quite a lot giving you opportunities to uh, swipe and take some more land which then further disrupts the italian lines just keep wiping these troops out keep going oh my god italy what are you thinking and the United Kingdom is done. Let's guarantee religious liberties. Let's do some small pushes. The Italian lines are a little bit thinner now. Our troops have had time to gain some org. Nice. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Let's see if we can uh, cut this, this front into two. Uh, it's very necessary to micro in northern Italy, especially when you don't really have an army and you're using tiny puppets manpower. You're going to start losing a lot of it. Your troops from your puppets just won't be as strong as before. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I made, made another little encirclement. Um, encircle where you can, uh, whenever possible. The less divisions that the Italians have, the easier it is going to be to snake to their victory points and cause some havoc. You really need to win this war before uh, late 1938. Most of the uh, practice games that I have, that I did, uh, Italy would join the Axis by December 1938. And guaranteeing religious liberties is done. Now we're going to finish up the uh, expand the mining industry. Let's get some delay. Let's see if we can clean these uh, troops up before the civil war begins. Ah. I mean, that is what you get when you keep sending troops to their death. The Civil War event should be firing soon. Let me just take care of these divisions. <laughs> Ugh, this war is going really, really well.
Okay, and that Civil War event has fired. This is the end of you, Italy. Ah, uh, my puppet got Italy as a puppet. I hate this game, Paradox. How does that even make sense? I mean, I get it that... Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Ugh, that's so stupid. Uh, they gave all the land away, so now I have to ask for military access. Okay, let's clean up Italy. This is stupid. And the rest of Italy is just a cakewalk. At this point, they have like three units. Okay. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to be taking what we can core. I am going to be taking everything that I can because I hate this game. I hate what happened here. Okay, our next goal is going to be Greece. So let's justify a war goal on them. And we're going to get that extra research slot. The Czechs have guaranteed the Greeks. That's that's fine. That's fine. British pressure. Good for them. And let's put our spies on to Romania because Romania is a very scary dog. And this is why you annex instead of puppeting uh, Albania because my puppet just gave himself away to uh, my puppet's Italian puppet. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. And we're going to be going with local militia so we can get some more uh, manpower. Okay, war goal for Greece is up and I don't know why they put all their troops in Thrace and have left, left uh, Macedonia completely empty, but okay. Let's rush our troops. And we will of course be calling in uh, two of our puppets, Macedonia as well as Bulgaria. Let's pin and see if I can encircle the entire Greek army. Now in your game, I doubt the Greeks are gonna make it this easy. Uh, it'll still be very easy though. Czechoslovakia has declared war on us. That's fine because in a minute Germany's gonna destroy them. So I don't really have to worry about them. Rush, rush, rush. And we have encircled a large amount of the Greeks. And let's get this elusive uh, gentleman so we can get another spy. And next we're going to develop Slovenian uh, industry. This is going to give us two military factories and a civilian factory. I'm going to be honest, there isn't really too much to it. Just encircle and take victory points. That's really it. And Germany has declared war on Czechoslovakia. It'll probably happen in your game too. They won't join the allies, or at least they shouldn't. Um, Germany will destroy them because they've already claimed Sudetenland. Keep pushing, take those uh, victory points. Greece should fall in a minute. There we go. And I'm actually just going to give everything over to Bulgaria. The reason for that is we are very low on manpower, so we can't really garrison it. So it's just going to be a pain. It's going to suck up our guns. It's going to suck up our manpower. So we're just going to let it do all of that to Bulgaria instead. More military factories. And now we're justifying a war goal on Romania. They are currently guaranteed by the Czechs. That's fine. And by France. That's also fine. And Czechoslovakia has fallen. Uh, we did nothing at all in that war with uh, Czechoslovakia, so we're just going to let Germany take everything. <laughs> and France has guaranteed us. If France doesn't guarantee you in your game, you know what? That's fine. Just don't declare war on Romania until after France falls. Once France falls, the guarantee will be gone. On the flip side, this guarantee on me is going to be gone when they fall. But that's fine. We're going to take advantage of this. I have the UK and France guaranteeing my independence right now. 
do you know how powerful I am? This is one of the only nations that this will happen to. And we're going to be doing the strat where you hide in uh, Transylvania as well as Serbia. Uh, I believe I saw this on a Bitter Steel video. It works like a charm. Very nice. Next focus, we're going to get some uh, civilian factories. And let's get in another research slot. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to be asking the Soviet Union if I can have a non-aggression pact. If I'm quick enough with Romania, I will be able to, to uh, take Bessarabia and keep it because when the USSR comes a knocking and asking for it, I will have that non-aggression pact so they can't go to war with me. War goal is ready. Let us declare war on them. League of Nations is over. And the Romanian troops are just going to flood in and take over the lower half of Serbia. Uh, that's fine because <laughs> it's a trap. You should not capitulate as long as you hold Belgrade. So do not lose it. And Allied uh, Access Capital is over. Let's start working on our uh, air industry. Okay, the Romanians are doing exactly what we wanted them to. They will fill in this spot. Just let them do it. Just wait a moment. Once the lines have steadied, then you can be very strategic and push across these two uh, tiles, encircling like a third of the Romanian army. And France has capitulated. As you can see, my French guarantee is gone. And so is the Romanian. So you just really have to wait until after France falls and then Romania is free for your taking. But you have to take it before I think it's March of 1940 because that's when Romania always joins the Axis. And once uh, Romania joins the Axis, then this whole thing just gets a whole lot harder. Nice. We have encircled about a third of the Romanian army. Let's wipe them out. We're going to be calling in... Uh, Transylvania, we're going to need them, plus we're going to be giving them all of, or we're going to be giving them most of Romania. I'm going to be updating my division. I think I can afford this. Okay, let's quickly wipe out these Romanians. Very nice, the last of that pocket is closed. And now let's do local self-management. Uh, I'm gonna call in Bulgaria and I'm just going to push. Uh, at this point, the Romanians have lost about a third to half of their army. Uh, I think I can just aggressively push. Yeah, they're just melting in front of my divisions. Just encircle them. They have almost no manpower left. Oh, okay, it is capitulated. If you want to get the achievement, Dracula's Revenge, uh, which is as Yugosla Yugoslavia established the autonomous region of Transylvania and have it own all of Romanian cores. Just give it all of Romania. In this game, I decided to keep Bessarabia just because your puppet is very likely to give it to the Russians when they come asking, and I'm not going to. So I'm just going to keep it all to myself. But I highly suggest if you do want to get that achievement, just give all the land to that puppet now. 
and the Soviet Union has guaranteed our independence as well, so now we don't really have to worry about the Germans. Our next victim is going to be Hungary. If you did the uh, the spy trick, Hungary should not be joining the Axis, so it's a free, free country to conquer. I'm going to be keeping all of my puppets troops on the border with the Soviet Union so that they don't break that non-aggression pact. And now we're going to expand the Sarajevo arsenals. This is going to give us a couple more uh, military factories and a civilian factory. Soviet Union has gone to war with Finland. They're going to be coming for me real soon. Okay, Hungary has been guaranteed by the UK. I've never seen that happen. Uh, usually they avoid guaranteeing uh, Hungary, but you know what? That's fine because we are guaranteed by the UK as well. And let's get some more resources. Declare war on Hungary. Uh, call in our one puppet. We don't need all of them called in. And just rush those victory points. Again, this is very easy. Our troops are going to cut right through them. They capitulated incredibly quick. Uh, puppet them. Do not annex them. Puppet them. If you puppet them, and when you do the uh, focus to uh, annex all of your Yugoslavian puppets, you will annex Hungary and you will core them. So, puppet them. The Soviet Union has demanded Bessarabia. Yeah, I'm not going to give it to you. Hold your breath. Next focus, uh, do whatever you want. Just don't do reuniting the kingdoms. Just don't do that focus yet. I am going to be justifying a war goal on my puppet's Italian puppet. Because as soon as I annex all of my puppets, uh, they will become free and I need to have Italy be conquered in order to get the achievement. So, because for some reason I can, I'm going to be justifying on them now. The UK has guaranteed them, but that means nothing. We're going to be putting all of our troops on the border with Italy. I'm not too worried about the Soviet Union declaring war on us, so I'm going to be uh, calling back all of my troops, all of my puppet troops. I made a mistake. Right before this focus is done, delete all of your troops that are from your puppets. Because if you don't, they will stay your puppets troops even after you annex your puppets. If you delete them, they go back to the control of your puppets. Uh, meaning that they become your troops 100% when you annex your puppets. I forgot to do that, but it's fine. Justification is done. And let's very, very quickly destroy Italy again. Uh, they are very easy. Maybe put some troops in uh, Albania. I forgot to do that, so it's kind of a race to who can beat who. Italy's uh, getting pretty close. Uh, I shouldn't have made this a contest. Oh my god. Rush their victory points. Let's end this war before I capitulate. That would be really awkward if I did. <laughs> uh, we're both so close to capitulating. Lano, I'm coming for you. And the Italians have capitulated before me. Uh, annex everything. Don't puppet them. Just annex everything. Take their fleet. Ooh, we are a chunky, chunky Yugoslavia. And we have a lot of factories. Going to be using all of my uh, puppets units to just hold the line against Vichy France. Uh, let's just get a bunch of 
bunch of big guns, a bunch of railway guns. Why not? We have the factories to do it. I'm going to be building some casts. Uh, these are not bad and they're not too expensive. Plus we have a massive industry, so it doesn't matter. And this is going to be my fighter. Uh, these guys are pretty good. And again, they're not too expensive. I should be able to make a whole lot of them. And I justified a war goal on Vichy France instead of Germany because I didn't want Germany to put all of their troops on the border. Uh, they guarantee Vichy France. So if I go to war with Vichy France, they'll call in Germany. Yep, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to field martial assault. This, I don't think, is going to be very hard. We have our spies on Germany. The Germans have been fighting the uh, Soviet Union for a year. They're at war with the entire allies. They don't have Italy. They don't have Hungary. They don't have Romania. Keep pushing the Germans. We made a small little breakthrough up here. Uh, if I wanted to, I could uh, justify on Turkey take them out they won't be joining the uh, British because we're guaranteed by the British too but if we wanted to we could so our units are actually pushing way better up here in the mountains for some reason so I'm just going to bring a whole lot more of my units uh, and push in the mountains and then just hold the plains near uh, Czechoslovakia I think those forts are just too hard to push through And the Germans are just about to fall. Berlin has fallen. Okay, come on, Germany. Okay, very first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking all of the Austrian states. And you're just going to straight up annex those. Take any other states that you want. Puppet whatever you want. Uh, at this point, you have everything that you needed in order to get the achievement. Now I was very goofy and I forgot to annex this uh, tiny little segment right here. This actually belongs to Austria. It is a core of Austria, but right now my uh, German puppet controls it. So I would just annex it and then I would get the achievement. There you go. Huge Oslavia. Uh, we have annexed all of Bulgaria, all of Greece, Italy, uh, Romania, Hungary, Austria, and Albania. This was a very fun game. Uh, gonna be real honest I will probably do this again even though I don't need the achievement I really really had fun um, if there's anything that you can think of to make the strat better or you just have any tips please let me know in the comments below I love seeing uh, all of your guys's ideas um, if you made it this far in the video thank you so much and I hope all of you guys have a great rest of your day thank you